This week's topic is on adult friendships. This is something that I've had a few messages about and some of you even kindly asked me to hang out or become friends because you found it difficult to make friends as an adult or moving to a new city, especially London where it's very clicky in a way. So making adult friends or kind of sifting through a good friend and a bad friend and just sussing people out is important in our adult lives because they are the family that we choose and they're the support system that we can rely on um, when we're faced with adversity. So, so having good friends around you, incredibly important. I've been very lucky to have a good circle of people around me that I can trust and rely on. And I've had you guys ask me questions into how to really navigate them and deal with them. So this week's video is mainly on that and then next week I can discuss dealing with a um, friendship, adult friendship breakup because that also is incredibly difficult. I personally have first-hand experience with it and many times in fact and it's just something is a part of life and we need to learn how to let go and move on because it's very very heartbreaking just as bad if not worse than a relationship breakup so it's important for us to talk about that. So if you haven't been to my page, welcome, I'm Hamasa. I look at personal development as well as mental and emotional well-being and just day-to-day -day issues. If you haven't subscribed to my page, please do so, so that you're up to date with all my weekly content. And this week, um, for me to discuss adult friendships is just something that I feel like, especially with the time that we're going through and everything's going on in the world with wars and um, the pandemic and things, you know, our time and on earth and just generally is very valuable and precious and we want to make the most of it and not waste time and energy on people who don't deserve to be around us. And I see these changes around my own friends, around relationships that my friends are in. Um, you know, there's it's a transitional period and I feel like people are just going through a growth and so Sometimes you grow together with a friend and sometimes you grow apart. But for me personally, I actually found it really difficult to make friends when I was younger. At school, I didn't really fit in. Um, I traveled a lot as a kid with my family. I changed schools all the time. And I found that I was always the new girl. And sometimes I didn't even speak the language. We would move to different countries. Like when we came to the UK, I found school incredibly difficult. I got picked on. I didn't dress like the way kids dressed. Like I didn't walk and talk and uh, like my food was different. I just, I was different. There weren't many Afghans around. So I didn't fit in with the Asian crew, with the Indians and the Pakistanis and the Bangladeshis. And I didn't fit in with my um other um, English student friends, that, well, I mean friends, um, students that were there, they found me weird and awkward and whatever. So friendship has been difficult for me too. And I found, but I was always very good at making them or talking with people because, because of the traveling and having to be the new girl. And where my parents are both quite very social, quite outspoken, um, quite like they're fun people and they've always been surrounded by friends, I always felt I, I took it from them to make friends and to talk to people. So growing up in Russia and Ukraine and Uzbekistan and moving around, uh, I, I ended up making friends. But those, I mean, when you're a kid, it doesn't really matter that much. But as you grow up, the friends that I was making, I wasn't being my true genuine self. I was adapting. I was trying to people please to an extent to fit in because Obviously, I didn't have a sense of belonging or I didn't have a sense of grounding. I didn't have a set like a settled home because I was always moving. So my friendship groups, I always wanted to be in um, in the crowd and fit in and have a sense of belonging. And I found as I grew up and this is into like beginning of university and college days that majority of the people around me weren't really genuinely my friends and I wasn't happy in those friendships. I just wanted to fit in to an extent. And as I got older and I realized that now I'm in my thirties, I look at things very differently. Uh, I know myself well. So when I know myself well, I can um, make friendships based on my 
authentic true self my hobbies my likes my dislikes my just people who are on my general wavelength so as you grow up and get older the people that you surround yourself have to be people that you could be genuinely truly yourself around so there are different types of friendships there are some people who are in your life for a good time and a fun time and you guys go out and you have fun and it's all just socializing and entertainment and things like that and that's the value that they serve in your life and that's what they bring and that's not the friend that you turn to and you pour your heart out to or you have a you know deep discussion or necessarily ask their opinion on your life decisions so they're the good time friend and then you have the friends that are like your family who you trust incredibly who are always there to support you and the way to distinguish between good time friends and true real friends is to see whether that friend always helps you out because they gain something out of it even if it means they're getting in your good books or they're getting to spend more time with you are they just doing things and benefiting themselves or are they genuinely making time and space for you when you're going through something so if you turn to a friend and they're being both are being helpful if sorry if you turn to two people and they're both being helpful and one is doing it because they care about you they don't judge you they're upset with you they care for your emotional and mental well-being and support you is the friend that's really there for the long run and cares for your well-being and then you have the friend that's just being nice saying all the things you want to hear agreeing with you and not really being true or speaking their mind or they're basically trying to keep you happy and pleased so that they could be in your life or gain something out of you so that's a good way of telling when you're going through something and you open up how do they respond to that and are they dismissive and kind of encourage you to do the bad thing just to make you feel good or do they genuinely give you advice support you and are there for you emotionally and mentally next thing to distinguish between who's a good friend and who's not a very good friend to keep around is when you guys do things is it mainly give and take or is it just take 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 and when it's given you're made to feel bad and guilty for it and you feel weird even asking because you know of the repercussions that's to follow so that's another way to be able to tell so whenever it comes time to giving support or doing a favor or doing anything if you're doing things for your friends and then they do things back for you because they can and they want to then you know that they're there for you and the relationship is balanced but if someone constantly always takes always like let's say you guys go out for food and you're the one who's always paying and they never really offer to pay they never really extend that same hand to you and just kind of expect you to pay and then the time that they pay or you ask them to pay is either an excuse is made or they're huffing and puffing and they bring it up if that's the case then that friend's really there to really take and if they ever do it back for you is in return for something or you're made to feel guilty for it so that's a good way also of seeing whether people are balanced with you and reciprocate your gestures and your love and your respect and support next thing to look out for is when something goes wrong in your life and you're faced with adversity well a good friend is usually quite mature and responsible and they would advise and guide you they would listen to you they won't judge you and they would try and help you navigate that situation better whereas someone who's quite toxic would probably encourage you not to take ownership of what's wrong encourage you down the wrong path people who are toxic or are bad friends tend to make decisions based on ego and fear which will result in them giving you advice from a place of fear and ego which can't be good for you. So they will either encourage you down the wrong path, they will encourage you not to be, take responsibility, There's like they will shift blame and it's like, yeah, you're great, it's all them, which isn't helpful to you because you won't learn from your mistakes, you won't be able to judge the situation accordingly and you 
then if you're in your rage and anger, they fuel that more instead of trying to resolve it, which again can't be good for you. They're erratic and immature. So it's important for us to be able to see the kind of advice and when you speak to them, are they just very indifferent and bored with what you're saying? Um, it's like, oh, forget this. Come on, you don't need it. Let's just go out and party. Isn't the kind of advice you may need if you've just lost your job and you have rent to pay. You know, it's there's a time and place and just see who really gives you space and understands and empathizes with your pain. And lastly, how do they celebrate you? A toxic or a bad friend talks the talk but doesn't walk the walk. They give you false hope, they give you wrong impressions, they encourage you but then talk bad behind your back. They try and tarnish your name, dismiss your successes um, and just play it down and always look for the negatives or the criticism in what you do. Whereas a good friend celebrates you genuinely, is happy for you, shows support, cares for your well-being and celebrates you in the right way and also protects your name behind your back and always encourages people of your good qualities and who you really are. Um, so that's the difference of what people do when you're actually winning in life because it's very easy to tell when someone is being a frenemy, they're being fake nice and they're like, oh yeah, well done, well I could have done it like this. And it's very evident that they're not really happy for you and who truly is celebrating you and is happy for your wins. Um, and overall, generally, good friends are also good people and toxic friends are also toxic people. So it's important for us to pay attention on how they treat their family, their other friendships, their colleagues. And if they have problems all around and constantly complain about the people around them, they don't get along at home, they don't get along at work, they don't really have many friends, then maybe the issue is them. So the way they are in a friendship with you and how you feel about it is a reflection of who they are in the outside world. So also see the bigger picture and that should help you distinguish between a good friend and a bad friend, a good person and a bad person. And I'm a big believer that people come into your life to serve a purpose. And like I said, there are different friends. You have your friendship that are good time friends. They're great. You have fun. You do your thing and then you guys live separate lives. You have friends that you're incredibly close with who go back for years and are like family. And you have friends that you thought will always be in your life. And you know, you built these friendships at work or wherever and really bonded and then kind of moved on with life and drifted apart. And all of those friendships serve a purpose in your life and have, just because one friend is very good at giving advice, it doesn't mean that you should have the same expectation of another. But the important thing is to sift through who's real, who's not, and who really sees the real you and could be your authentic self around them and who makes you feel a type of way about who you are. Next week, I will look into friendship breakup, breakups, like I said, because it is a very hard thing to deal with and it is difficult and we do need to uh, be better equipped when that happens, especially as an adult. Um, so please join me next week. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Uh, please like, comment, share and subscribe to my page and I'll see you guys here again next week. Thank you so much for watching. Mwah.